you ever want to eat a Krabby Patty after watching an episode of Spongebob? Maybe even a triple Gooberberry Sunrise after watching the Spongebob movie? Well, today we're making it happen. We're making real life Spongebob food. Welcome to... When I watch Spongebob, I am constantly looking at the food and thinking how cool it would be to eat food from Spongebob. I don't know, there's something about cartoon food that just looks so good. So number one, we are making a Krabby Patty. I have all the ingredients, not gonna lie, just like a normal cheeseburger, but we're calling it a Krabby Patty. Number two, we are making a triple gooberberry sunrise from the Spongebob Squarepants movie. I always wanted to eat one of those and today we're making it. I even got these Sunday glasses that I think look identical to the show. Jeez. But we have some backups, just in case these break. Oh my god, calm down. Oh my god. You always want to eat Spongebob food? Give this video a like. I'm trying to get three likes on today's video. That's all. Three. Three likes. You can do it. Thanks. <laughs> So I put a poll on my community tab the other day and I said if you could eat any food from Spongebob, what would it be? Of course, number one said Krabby Patty. So we're gonna be making a Krabby Patty first. I'm a really good cook. We don't need any of the Sunday stuff. Uh, bananas are for the Sunday. The Triple Gooberberry Sunrise. Try saying that 10 times fast. Triple Goober. Never mind. I can't do it. We need the mustard and the ketchup. I think we have everything here. Oh, chocolate. You don't need that. Furs. Special shout out to that vegan teacher. I want her to make a video roasting me. Like, I love vegan people, but she's just scary, man. Alexa's actually very helpful, so we're gonna use her today. Alexa, what's on a Krabby Patty? A Krabby Patty is a veggie burger sold by the fictional restaurant The Krusty Krab in the animated television series SpongeBob SquarePants. Was that helpful? No. Did they say veggie? That, number one, that wasn't the recipe. Number two, veggie? This is what we're going for here. The first step, though, is heating up our stove. We're doing seven. Cutting board. <laughs> Burgers and condiments are there. Onion. Lettuce. Tomato. Buns, which we don't need right now. And pickles. So there's only three things we're really working with here that we need to chop. I'm gonna use this. Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I had grilled cheese the other night and I like putting a nice slice of tomato on it. I think for Krabby Patties, you only need one tomato. Yeah, that looks like one tomato. Oh my God, the really Krabby Patty has red onion. Do we have red dye or paint? Okay, we're just gonna make this. Also, don't use knives unless you're making a Krabby Patty. Thin slice of the tomato bread. Nice thin. No, too thin! It's so weird, right after you brush your teeth. Oh my God, Miss Stahl, you would be so proud of me. Anyone that knows Miss Stahl, her, I said hi, she was my cooking person in high school. Is that a good one? I want a backup just in case, because I think I could do better. This might be the one. Who preps in SpongeBob? They just get tomatoes out of nowhere and lettuce? Where's that person? Ooh, that's a thick one, hold on. We need to shave this down. Always never take advice from me when cooking. Okay, we got two beautiful tomatoes. This one's better. Probably using that one, just saying. Now what? Lettuce? Fun fact, I used to cut lettuce all the time. <laughs> what, you need more context? I used to work at a restaurant. They sold salads. Someone, you, you had to chop it up. So I'm a pro. Since I was working in a restaurant, I couldn't do this, but I, what's wrong? It was just so wet. It's very wet lettuce, but I always wanted to like. I thought it'd be a lot better. Look at some ranch. <laughs> One summer now. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna cut this. You know, I'm a chef. I used to chef, you know? Look at that. You don't want that. Nothing's worse than having yellow in your salad. You know what's really annoying is we just need like one piece. But I will reuse this. Nothing in this is getting wasted. I'll have a salad later. That looks like crusty crab lettuce, man. Okay, we got our lettuce. We got our tomato. Dropping lettuce everywhere and I already ran the Roomba. Too much. Burger! <laughs> this is so bad. And you want to even let out. Wait, we need a timer. Alexa, set a timer for seven minutes. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. That smells good. I always wanted to be like one of those chefs that are just like... And like, just like, but I can't. Wait, what's that mean if it's green on the outside? Is that bad? Oh, so you can still eat it. Crap, I don't want to be a ring. <sighs> Just trying to embrace it, you know? No! You need to be a ring. We have onion, 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 onion. Oh, my burger! 
Okay, it's really loud in here, so I gotta scream. We've got so much going on back there. As you see, this is like Gordon Ramsay's kitchen. It's crazy. I wanna toast this bun. We're just gonna put a little bit of butter on it. Ooh, a little bit. And do this one as well, just a little bit. Just, just to get it that nice golden brown toastiness. That's what every burger needs. We're just gonna plop them on a pan. Just gonna let that toast. We're gonna take that burger. And we're just gonna place it right on there. Put some American. These buns can take a couple seconds, but that will start to toast on the edges. Oh, look at that. Exactly what you want. So that's the bottom bun. That's how you want a bun. Okay. Okay, burger. We're gonna go and put the burger right there. That's step one. We're gonna do pickles. Always use your hands, put them in the pickle jar, make sure they're dirty. The thing is, I want this to look like photogenic. I want this to look like the pickles, everything's like oozing out like a like in a commercial, like for the crusty crab. Oh my god. Okay, so we'll do that. I want bigger pickles. So excited. Look at that. Looking solid. Lettuce. Like, I wish restaurants did this when making your food. Like, if they took the time to make each burger look delicious, I should open a real life Krusty Krab. We'll give you a burgers. Well, after you watch me make this, grabbing everything with my bare hands, you probably won't want to go, but we will make it look exactly how you want it to. You know, this tomato's gonna be way too big. You know what, it will work though. Now, we have onion, okay? So we're gonna like, kind of do the onion, like, a little fun. So it's like, you, you see it sticking out at each point. For referencing that, look how big the tomato is. It's a big tomato. Three onions, I think is good. Now, sauces. Mustard and ketchup. I'm gonna do perfect swirls with this. Now some ketchup. We're gonna swirl this as well. Not bad. Now, we're gonna put that on like that. Look at that! That looks, that looks like that looks like a Krabby Patty. I mean, that looks pretty dang awesome. Look at this Krabby Patty in real life. Now, I know a lot of people say Krabby Patties are technically crab meat. I could have done that, but I wanted, you know, I just wanted to follow a basic fun recipe that you can do at home. It's not that hard. And you can say that you ate a Krabby Patty. Now, this looks so good. This looks legit. This is where it becomes dangerous, folks. We're picking it up. We're picking up the Krabby Patty. Oh my God, it looks like, it looks like this is out of, this is not real right now, is this? Here is the Krabby Patty in real life. I'm gonna be honest, this looks really cool. I know it kind of just looks like a burger, but if you were following this photo and actually how he made this burger, I think it resembles a Krabby Patty pretty much identically. Dramatic point where I take a bite of the Krabby Patty. <laughs> I don't want to. That's actually a solid burger. Did you hear the crunch? That was the toastiness of the bread. Mmm, it's a good Krabby Patty. It's pretty dang good. Sorry to brag, <laughs> it's delicious. I feel like I'm, I'm a kid right now. When I was a kid and craved a Krabby Patty, this is exactly what I would like crave in my head. And of course I make burgers and stuff, but like this, you know, I feel like I'm just kind of living a childhood dream I always wanted to because it's, it's Krabby Patty. Like look at that, that's solid. That's a solid burger. Well, I'm definitely gonna finish this off camera, but we gotta get moving because we have to make our dessert to accompany our Krabby Patty. Next up is the Gooberberry Sunrise. Delicious. See you there. See you there. What's that gonna mean? Meaning I'll just see you in the next clip. A few moments later. Hey, all you goofy goobers. It's time to say howdy. Oh, I'm a goofy goober, yes! Yeah! Um, today we are making <laughs> Dang it, it didn't crack. We are making a delicious Gooberry Sunrise ice cream sundae. Now, this is famously in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. I think it came out in 2007. Alexa, when did the SpongeBob SquarePants movie come out? The film The SpongeBob SquarePants movie was released on November 19th, 2004. Wow! That's in four? I saw it in theaters. Two years, that movie's 20 years old. That's uh, kind of scary. So basically what we have to do here, if you know what a Gooberberry Sunrise looks like, it's quite a complex, more fictional dessert. Um, there's bananas sticking out of the ice cream. There's cherries on top of the bananas, just like resting there. We all know that's not gonna just naturally happen. So we kind of have to rig up an idea here to get the ice cream and bananas and cherries all just like look perfect. So that answer is toothpicks. Brilliant. First off, this Sunday bowl matches perfectly to the Gooberberry Sunrise. So we need some massive scoops of ice cream. Then for the eyes, I literally had to buy M&Ms. And then it has that little red smile, which I figured, you know, we could just use a Twizzler. And sadly, these pull and peel Twizzlers are only sold in this giant pack. So we need this much of a string of a Twizzler. So I had to buy this whole dang thing. 
Oh, and the chocolate. I tested this stuff out. As soon as you put it on ice cream, it hardens. So we'll be good with this. I was originally gonna do hot fudge, but this stuff, it, it's like, it's magical. First off, we'll do the M&Ms. We'll just get our M&Ms we need. Wow. One, two, three, four, five reds in the entire thing. So we need a red, we need a green, and we need a blue. And the rest go in the trash. Just joking. We don't waste anything here on Bread TV headquarters. You know what? Okay, I didn't need to red one. You know those bodybuilders meal prep? <laughs> There's me like one M&M, <laughs> two M&Ms. We're, uh, we're dessert prepping. Now we need to get one little peel of this. That worked! <laughs> I haven't had these since, oh my God, I see these when I was a kid on Halloween maybe, but I never went to the store and was like, you know what, I'm craving these. So basically you're gonna have to peel this, which I think I, my idea for this is smart. I'm gonna peel that. Mmm, this is actually, this is bussin', man. Dang good. Mm. You know what this reminds me of though? Like, um, string cheese. Like why not just eat the whole thing? Okay, I think we're gonna get a good peel. Perfect, right there. We got this, the banana. <laughs> it just fell off. Perfect, but you know what? I should have just been stupid and used a really unripened banana. It would have been really hard and the toothpicks would have really stuck in it. But guess what, we're here now. We're not doing that. And we need a half of a banana for the little stupid head. Now we just need a small little knife to cut the top off. <laughs> we used the Swiffer yesterday, so probably clean. Okay, we're done with that dang banana. Will you eat this? So you always hate bananas? It's a bummer, bananas are great. Hashtag bananas are great. So I need to make sure these aren't like soaking wet. Are there stems in there? Oh my God, cherries are good. You don't like cherries. You're eating cherry flavored candy right now. I have no clue what I'm doing, but the funny thing is, is what I make does look good. Next up, got these little toothpicks. After shaking that much, came one out. So it goes like literally on the top. Okay. Okay. How do you eat this? It's gonna be dangerous, dude. I'm gonna get a wood splinter. Ow! Ow. Now this! Ow! Hurt myself with my fingernail. So I'm being doubted in the room that I can't do two giant scoops, but little do people know, I used to scoop ice cream all day because I was a server in a diner. As you see, that's really tiny. But how are we gonna do, friend? That is scoop number one. We're gonna press it down, but we're gonna add to that one scoop to make it look like a bigger scoop. Push it on top to make it look even bigger. And I'm, this is so much ice cream. How did SpongeBob and Patrick eat this much? Just stay in the glass, stay in the glass, stay in the glass, stay in the glass. Okay. I don't think it broke. <laughs> no, bro, what? Did you hear that click? No works. <laughs> so that's number one. Now it's number two. Do you think it needs more? I think it needs a little more. It's so cold. I think that looks good. You know, the way we did it, it was kind of disgusting. But sometimes, if you want things done right, you do it with your hands. And in this case, with the Gooberberry Sunrise, this isn't gonna do the trick. We're gonna put this in the freezer now it's gonna harden for a little. This is where the time crunch is crucial. I think first thing we should do is add this chocolate. Here we go. This stuff starts to freeze as soon as you put it on. And I think it really gives that cartoon, that look we're really going for. I want this to drip down, but freeze as it's falling, you know? See how it's doing that? That looks really cool. Okay, I think that's perfect. What we're going for again is this. And I think that chocolate falling, like look at that. So now we got to add the banana for the top. Oh my God. 
Okay, that's in. Ah! It's, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. This is all a challenge. This is, I think I'm just gonna put this one down here. Yeah, like rest it in the thing. Honestly, it's coming together. Pretty solid, it's coming together. Okay, yeah, that's a little rougher. That is rougher, I jinxed myself. And this cherry, I wanna put it there. Please stay. It's coming together though. We're gonna just put a toothpick in, hold it in the back. There we go. Okay, so now we gotta go ahead, we're gonna put the eyes on. Now you see this chocolate kinda droop down a little bit more, so this will actually just chip off if we're very gentle. this one right here. That works. Just smooth it out a little bit. You know, this is what they do in everywhere. They just touch it with their bare fingers. We're gonna have to put it in the freezer for just a second. Let this harden up. But for the most part, it looks like we're almost done. This is seriously time crunch right now. We're gonna put blue M&M in. Just push it in. That looks solid. Now we're gonna take green one. Right there. Push it in. Now, we need red one. We're gonna take our red one. Right there, I don't want that to bleed. I don't want to bleed, I don't want to bleed. Put it in right there, push it in. Take this, cut it like that. And this guy's got a smile. Too big. This looks solid! Wow. Guys, I'm actually pumped. This looks a lot better than I thought it would. This might be better than looking than the Krabby Patty. One hour later. Ladies and gentlemen, the triple gooberberry sunrise dessert from the SpongeBob movie. I don't want to eat this. Like at all. Like I wish this could be like kept forever. Look at that. Oh, is it cool? I can't make it and not eat it. Well, we all know as soon as I bite into this, this is just gonna fall apart. So let's just try to remember all of the wonderful memories I had with this triple gooberberry sunrise. Okay, let's dig in. We know it's gonna taste like vanilla ice cream and you know, oh God, I don't want to, I don't want to. Do some of the banana. Oh, I hate to do this. Some of the banana. <laughs> no! No! No, God. It would, no, it, we need the banana and we need a cherry. It's solid. It's, it's delicious. Like. Well, I just put the rest of that back in the freezer. And honestly, it was delicious. And I can't believe how much it actually resembled a triple gooberberry sunrise from the actual movie. Like, side by side, pretty accurate. I'm proud of myself. Even the Krabby Patty. Like, Krabby Patty looks solid. I'd give that like a 9.5 out of 10. Triple gooberberry, I'd give it like 9.8. Because I think I've seen it done better than me. Because, you know, I have no clue what I'm doing. But for someone that has no clue what they're doing, pretty good. Means you can do it too. Well everyone, that is gonna do it for today's video. We made a real life Krabby Patty, a real life triple goober berry sundae. They were both delicious. This video is all about doing something that I always wanted to do as a child, which was eating SpongeBob food in real life. We accomplished that. If you want me to make more food from SpongeBob or any TV shows, like I said, let's get three likes on today's video. I'm pretty confident we can do it. We got merch at www.brentelevision.com. Follow my Instagram at brentelevision, and that's gonna do it for today's video. Bye everyone. Brett TV, Brett TV, Brett TV has a video for me. Yeah. Brett TV, Brett TV, Brett TV has a video for me. Oh, now he's opening a popsicle, he's opening a toy. Say hello to Mr. Emerald, he goes to fly. Brett TV, Brett TV, Brett TV has a video for me. Triple Gooba Berry Sunrise, Triple Gooba Berry, Triple Gooba. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Try saying toy boat ten times fast. It's impossible. Toy boat, 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 toy boat,